Hello, this is Jamie from Creations Misfit, and today I want to show you a very easy but very pretty stitch. It's called the Mesh Stitch, and you can make it with any size yarn or hook that you'd like. Today I am using a size 5 yarn and a 5.5 millimeter hook. So to get started, we are going to do a slip knot, and you could use this for any project that you want, blankets, bags, um, hats, anything like that. And what you will do is chain up as many chains as you'd like. Um, it, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, just depending on your project. So I'm just going to do a small portion today. So I will do 12 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So go ahead and chain as many as you'd like. If you'd like to just do a practice swatch like I'm doing, 12 is pretty good. So if you've done the um, uh, moss stitch, it's very similar to that, but it's just a little bit different. It gives a, a very different look. So we are going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So not your very first chain that's right there, but the second chain here. Go ahead and place one single crochet in there and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to skip the next chain so we just went into this one we're going to skip the next chain and single crochet into the next and then chain one and now when we're chaining one that is taking up for or taking over for the one that we're going to skip next so you'll still have 12 across so chain one and then skip the next chain and go into the following one with another single crochet. And this is our repeat pattern across. Chain one, skip one, single crochet one. Chain one, skip one, single crochet one. Chain one, skip one and then you will single crochet into the last chain so this is what our chain should be looking like now or our project and to go into the next row you're going to do a chain one and turn now for this round our row we are just going to do the same thing and you're going to single crochet on top of the single crochets and then chain one over the chain ones again. Now it may be hard to find exactly which are the single crochets and which are the chain ones, especially when you when you first start out. I had so much trouble. But if you just go into this very first stitch, that was where we did our single crochet. So you're just going to single crochet into that one and chain one. And now if you look at it, like see here, it's kind of hard to tell where do I go next? This is your chain from before. This is your single crochet. So you're going to want to go in there to do your next single crochet. But if you look at the tops, they all look like stitches. So if you look at the tops, it's a little bit easier. Like here, let me see if I can show you better. So this is the next stitch here. That's the one we're going to skip because that's just a chain. And then here, that's where we're going to go in and do our single crochet. So if you look at the tops, it might be a little bit easier. So go into the next and do a single crochet. And then chain one. And then skip the next, which is this one here. Or that one. And single crochet into the next single crochet. Chain one. Skip one single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, and then single crochet into the last. And that's what you should have. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. And you can kind of start to see how it's taken shape. It looks really pretty once you get a bunch of rows. So let's do another row together. We're going to single crochet into that very same one. So your single crochets always go on top of the ones from the uh, row before. Single crochet, chain one, 
we're going to skip that chain that's there. Or if you look here, skip this next V and go into the next single crochet. Single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one. And here you can see where the stitches are. It just takes some getting used to if you're a beginner. Here's the stitch that we're going to go into right there. You can tell because there's like kind of a hole, but you don't want to get confused with a big hole here where the chain is. You want to see where the stitch is there. So single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, and then single crochet into the last, chain one and turn. And now you can see how it's starting to take shape. So that's how you do um, the mesh stitch. The moss stitch is very similar. I do have a video for that. I will link it below. The moss stitch you just chain or change every single round. So instead of going into the single crochets on top of the single crochet, you go into the you do a single crochet over the chain stitch. So don't worry about that. It doesn't matter <laughs> if you'd like to learn that. I'll put the video in the link below. But this is the mesh stitch. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you'd like to uh, subscribe to my channel, I have a lot of patterns and stitch tutorials up. And I'm always adding more things. And if you could please like the video, that would be great as well. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a wonderful day.